bail set at $200,000 today for Jenny Clark. The woman police say murdered her husband through a car crash in Ogden on the 4th of July. This incident was caught on camera, and that video played a significant role in the investigation. Ellie Peters reports from court. Police say the moments leading up to and after that fatal crash in Ogden were all caught on camera because one of Jenny Clark's daughters pulled out their phone and started recording the incident. A tragic 4th of July crash in Ogden that's caught the attention of so many. It's a tragedy that was 100% avoidable. Um, and it, within a matter of minutes, three children's lives were changed forever. Three young girls were in the back of the vehicle when police say their mother, 42-year-old Jenny Clark, crashed into a utility pole on Colby Street. Matthew Clark, Jenny's husband, was pronounced dead at the scene, and Jenny has been charged with second-degree murder. I have had cases similar to this where parents have acted in a manner that is incredibly dangerous to their children. and. Um, our job and the district attorney's office is to do everything we can to make sure that those people that hurt children are held accountable. Police say one of the couple's daughters recorded the crash on video, and they say once they saw that video, they believed a second degree murder charge was warranted, something that's made this case unique. Well, this is the first time I've seen a murder too charged in a, um, in a vehicular homicide for sure. So, and we see it more and more now. Uh, over the last few years, uh, videos, especially telephone audios and videos. Defense attorney Joe D'Amelio says the hardest part about this case will be people rushing to judgment, especially if they see or hear the video. It's what we do as a society mostly, those first few moments of a case. People basically decide guilt or non guilt in the first five minutes that they hear about the case. A felony complaint says Clark was allegedly speeding and arguing with her husband at the time of the crash. This case is still in the hands of the grand jury and could be wrapped up by the end of this week. In Rochester, Allie Peters, News 8. All right, Allie, thank you. Jenny Clark does not have a previous criminal record. None of her three children was injured in the crash, and they are now staying with family.